Most of it is seaweed, but there are also mollusks cast onto land by the sea. The local birds are quick to take advantage of this gift. The protective shells of the bivalves are no obstacle. The seagulls have discovered an infallible method of getting through them. When they find one, they take it in their beaks and fly up with it. The seagull soars up and when it thinks it is high enough, drops its precious load. After one or more attempts, the shell will crash against a rock and break apart, and dinner is served. Just a few meters away, the sea lions doze on the sand. In the water, they are extremely active, but on land, they become lazy. Their clumsiness out of water and the pleasant warmth of the sun are more than reason enough to take life easy and the colonies gather to slumber on the beach for hours at a time. The sea lions remain along these coasts all year round. During the breeding season, the colonies gather at two places, one at either extreme of the peninsula, Punta Pirámides in the south and Punta Norte in the north. The pups also enjoy the afternoon sun. They are still very small and don't have the layer of fat necessary to survive in the freezing cold waters of the Atlantic. For the time being, their life is more terrestrial than marine, though not for long. The beaches of Punta Norte are also a meeting point for another member of the seal family the elephant seal. The elephant seals are the largest members of the seal family in the world. The females can weigh up to 500 kilos, but even they are lightweights compared to the male. This male is almost five meters long and weighs around 2,500 kilos, almost 10 times as much as a sea lion. 